Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you how to actually fix any sort of stutter or lag in Fortnite chapter 2 season 8 Guys, I got a super easy method and trust me guys this is going to help you out so much And even if you only have like sometimes like smaller FPS drops This might actually also help you out So therefore I would just recommend it to everyone to actually do this guys because it is such an easy step And it can just refresh your Fortnite basically and if you guys enjoy content like this Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel This would help me out so so much and without any further ado Let's get straight into this topic. And yeah guys, as mentioned, I'm going to show you in today's video a super simple method to 100% reduce lag and stutter on Fortnite. And what we're gonna do is delete our DirectX shader cache. And if you guys are wondering right now what the DirectX shader cache actually is, I'm just gonna read it out here. Clean up files created by the graphics system which can speed up applications, load time and improve responsiveness. They will be regenerated as needed. And what this pretty much tells us guys that those are temporary files which are getting consistently created in the background by DirectX once we launch actually into games and load up some programs guys. And the same of course also applies for Fortnite and if these files for some reason are maybe damaged or there's an error like that, this can actually cause stutter and lag on Fortnite and this is one of the main issues. So I'm of course going to tell you in a quick tutorial guys how we can actually get rid of these files and let them get regenerated from Windows 10, Windows 11 depending which system you're actually using right now so that we can make sure that we have a more smoother gaming experience in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8. And yeah guys, now I'm going to show you in a few simple steps how to actually remove your DirectX shader cache and all you guys need to do is go into your Windows search bar and just simply type in clean until you find the disk cleanup. And then we can see this new window here where we can select exactly our main drive or just overall like you know the drive where our Windows is installed. For me it's C as for most people it should be and we're just simply gonna press OK. And it's only gonna take actually a few seconds until this whole entire disk here is getting scanned. Of course it also depends how fast your main hard drive is for me it's m.2 ssd so it's quite fast here and now we can see already here in this first window that we got 21.1 gigabytes of disk space to actually clean up which is quite a lot of stuff here and i actually see for myself that i have tons of temporary files we have windows upgrades here we have microsoft defender antivirus stuff and here we have actually now DirectX shader cache. This is the one we're gonna put the main priority on. But of course guys, if you also see other files like system error memory dump files, we can of course also delete them at the same time here and maybe also delivery optimization files. But as mentioned guys, our main focus should be here on the DirectX shader cache files because they're the ones causing our game to actually lag and stutter. And after we ensured ourselves guys that we also selected the DirectX shader cache now, we're gonna press onto OK guys and it's gonna ask us here one more time, are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? And we're gonna click onto delete files and now guys it's only gonna take like a few seconds or minutes as mentioned it really depends how fast your main storage is and as mentioned I've got an M.2 SSD so it's working really fast here for you if you're using like let's say HDD it might take a little bit longer you know with the SSD it might be quicker and with M.2 SSD it's of course gonna be the fastest way possible and yeah it shouldn't take like too long here right now you can see already that I also selected like previous Windows installations since I entirely switched from Windows 10 to Windows 11 I can of course delete my Windows 10 version here guys which I would also recommend most of the people here if you already switched to Windows 11. And now guys, this window just automatically closed after this process is done and everything should be applied 100%. Our DirectX shader cache should be deleted now. And now all you guys have to do is relaunch your PC and log on into Fortnite guys and check for yourself if your lag and stutter is actually fixed now. And with that said, we're already done here. And yeah guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace